Hello Ubuntu users. In recent annoying news, developers removed dynamic transparency from the top bar with the release of GNOME 3.22. We're going to show you how to get it back. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. In the past, GNOME's top bar on Ubuntu was mostly transparent. It made the desktop environment cleaner and much less cluttered, making it a favorite among users. That's a real shame too, because there don't seem to be any concrete plans to bring it back. Thankfully, GNOME extension developers sprung into action to bring back dynamic transparency. So getting it back on Ubuntu 19.4 is a breeze. To start, you're going to need a package that enables the Firefox extension to work. The setup might seem like a lot, but you won't need to do it again. And the combination of the Firefox extension and this package will allow you to download any GNOME extension and enable it right from the web. First, install the package. Go to the GNOME Cell Integration Firefox add-on page and add it to Firefox. When you're ready, install the GNOME extension. Head over to the Dynamic Panel Transparency extension page on the GNOME site. You'll see a toggle switch in the upper right corner of the page. Flip it onto Enable Dynamic Transparency on your system. Give it a few seconds to download and set up the extension. After it's done, test it out. Minimize all of your windows and take a look at your desktop. Is the top panel semi-transparent? That means it's working. Try dragging a window up to the top. If your top panel becomes opaque, everything's working normally and you have dynamic transparency on your system. After seeing how much nicer your desktop can look with transparency in the top panel, you may be tempted to do the same with your dock. There really isn't a super convenient way for this one, but it's certainly not too difficult to do. First, install DCONF to be able to edit the GNOME configurations. Then open up the DCONF editor. It's a graphical application and you can search for it. As soon as it opens, you'll see a warning that you can easily break things. You definitely can, but confirm anyway. Navigate through the menu by clicking on Org GNOME Shell Extensions Dash to Dock landing on Ubuntu's dock settings. Scroll down until you see the transparency mode and select it. On the settings page, turn off use default value, set the custom value to fixed and hit apply. Back out to the dash to dock setting, select background opacity, toggle off use default value again and set your opaque value. 1.0 is opaque, 0.0 is entirely transparent. When you're done, press apply. That's it, your desktop now has dynamic transparency and you can also adjust the transparency of your dock. These methods should work well for you for a long time moving forward. The GNOME developers may come up with their own implementation of dynamic transparency moving forward, but that probably won't make its way to Ubuntu for a while. Did you find this tutorial useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.